Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the previous video, we discussed the properties of tetracyclines. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of antibiotics and medicinal chemistry, click on the links given in the description below this video. In this video, we shall learn the structural features of tetracyclines. The structural features that confer antibacterial activity to the tetracyclines have been well established. The key feature is a linear fused tetracyclic nucleus that is rings designated as A, B, C and D as shown in the figure from which a variety of functional group substituents emanate. The most important of these are an array of conjugated hydroxyl and ketone groups and the octahydrodioxonaphthacine carboxamide core itself. The simplest tetracycline to display detectable antibacterial activity is 144A, 55A, 611-12A, octahydro, 310-12A tetrahydroxy, 111-dioxo, 2-naphthacine carboxamide and so this compound may well represent a minimum pharmacophore. The absolute stereochemistry is crucial. Only compounds that possess the naturally occurring configurations at the 4A and 12A positions that is AB ring junction are active as antibacterial agents. No ambiguously proven C4A beta analogs are known, so the stereochemical requirement at this position is inferred. A series of new tetracyclines have been recently reported partly as a response to traditional tetracycline structure activity relationship. The naming was somewhat prophetic in that the tetracycline remains intolerant of modification. There are unique chemophysical properties of this structural core. The tetracyclines are highly chromophoric compounds and structural modifications that reduce the magnitude of this phenomena generally afford inferior compounds. For example, the change of oxidation states of tetracyclic carbon atoms or the removal of certain key functional moieties, mostly hydroxyl or carbonyl moieties, is detrimental. The linear array of the fused tetracycle is absolutely vital. Any bond cleavage that destroys a ring or frees a ring from the confines of the tetracyclic nucleus abolishes activity. Each ring needs to be six-membered and purely carbocyclic. The introduction of sulfur at the C6 position is an exception, but compounds of this type are not significant. Nor tetracyclines, derivatives in which the B ring consists of a 5-membered carbocycle, display only a hint of antibacterial activity. The A ring and the D ring are generally regarded as unchangeable. The D ring needs to be aromatic and A ring must be appropriately substituted at each of its carbon atoms for notable activity. However, the D ring has been amenable to a number of substituent changes and some promising congeners contain novel substituents on this ring. The tetracyclines are elaborated through a polyketide biosynthetic pathway and this origin is reflected by the conjugation of oxygen-based functionality along with the periphery of the tetracyclic ring system. The B ring and the C ring tolerate certain substituent changes so long as the ketoenol system at C11, C12, C12A remains intact and conjugated to the phenolic D ring. Aromatization of either the B ring or the C ring is detrimental. In hydrotetracyclines, derivatives in which the C ring is aromatized are ubiquitous byproducts under acidic reaction conditions and are essentially inactive. One notable exception is the naturally occurring chelocardins that structurally resemble anhydrotetracyclines. Their substituent patterns and spectrum of activity is different from the tetracyclines and their biosynthetic origin is different. The D, C, B ring phenol ketoenol system is imperative and the A ring must also contain a conjugated ketoenol system. Specifically, the ring A contains a tricarbonyl derivative ketoenol array at positions C1, C2 and C3. It should be noted that in highly conjugated systems such as these, tautomeric forms can exist and in the case of the tetracyclines, this appears to be an important feature for antibacterial activity. Other structural requirements for good antibacterial activity include a basic amine function at the C4 position of the A ring. 
Derivatives unsubstituted at the C4 center are regarded as antibacterials in an academic sense only. The simplest tetracycline that displays a broad spectrum of antibacterial activity is the C4A dimethylamino congener sancycline which has not been developed as a marketed product. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the structural features of tetracyclines. In the next video, we will learn the structure activity relationships and the mechanism of action of tetracyclines. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.